congratulations and thank you for choosing your OzRV X11. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the kitchen and electrical systems. Setting up the kitchen is quite simple. There's a few things you do have to take note of. Just here is our water connector and just below is our connection for the gas. This fitting also has a valve on it so you can isolate the gas there as well. Just on this side, we have our 12 volt outlet here for a standard 12 volt plug and two small 12 volt outlets here. Great for connecting up the light on the kitchen. To get the kitchen out, there are two pad bolts that retain the kitchen while you're traveling, one either side. To release them, pull them back, turn them 90 degrees. When you do that, there is a pin that will sit on a small lip and hold that pad bolt out of the way. Do that on both sides. When you pull the kitchen out, grab the top handle, not the bottom one. The bottom one is connected to a slide out table. So grab the top, slide the kitchen out. Now we're started. Beneath the kitchen is a set of support legs. To release them, there is a small sliding bolt Press the little square button in the center of that and that will release the leg. Now it's just a matter of adjusting these to support the end of the kitchen. This is an important step because when you start putting pots and pans and Dutch ovens on your cooktop, you don't want the weight to start trying to bend the hinges. Very important to put that stabiliser leg down. Then, simply open up the kitchen. To set up the windshield either side, lift them up and swing them out. Then, simply place it so the dowels fit into their purpose holes there. Now, our kitchen cooktop is set up. Setting up the dish rack's easy. Basically lift it up, fold the rack down. Now we can set up our light and plug in the electrical and the gas and the water. The hoses and the electrical connection for the ignition on the stove are housed in the back here. There's a hole in the back that you can get these out. The gas hose will go underneath there to the gas fitting and your igniter plugged into the 12 volt socket at the back. Just in the corner here is a small electrical plug. That's for your light and plug it in to the smaller 240 volt outlet there. So we've connected our gas into the quick fit here. Now we just need to connect up the water. The water simply plugs straight into the fitting and into the fitting on the side of the kitchen. Simply turn the switch on for the water pumps and we'll now have water at the kitchen. When packing up the kitchen, first turn your gas bottles off. Turn off the gas at this little connection here and we can start disconnecting. To disconnect the gas, pull the collar back, pull the hose out. With the water, make sure the water pump is turned off. Release any pressure through the tap so you don't get yourself covered in water when you release the hose. Pull the collar back and disconnect the hose. Now we can put our dust cover back on, stow our hoses away and disconnect the electrical. Disconnecting the electrical, take the plugs out, just slide the light plug back into its little holder on the end of the kitchen. That'll keep it neat, it can't get damaged. Disconnect the 12 volt and return the dust caps into their positions. Packing up the cooktop is the reverse of setting it up. Pull it back, fold our wing panels in. Close it up, push our LED light down out of the way. Now we can close up our dish rack. All done, now simply retract the support leg. Make sure you tighten them up so they can't move. Swing the leg up and once in position, push the bolt forward into the receiver hole to hold the leg up. 
Before we slide the kitchen away, make sure all the hoses and electrical connections are packed up underneath the cooktop. All out of the way, nothing hanging below the kitchen. And we make sure that the pad bolts are still back in their retained position so they don't strike the side of the kitchen opening. Slide the kitchen away and release the pad bolts. Kitchen's now secure, we can close it up. Make sure all the dust caps are back in place with the gas, the water, and the electrical. They don't get any contamination while you're traveling. The main electrical switchboard is just inside the door behind the cabinet. All the switches you need to control the various circuits are right here. The only other things you need to know is the monitor station for the BMS unit and the isolation switch for the 12 volt in the cabinet behind the seating area. The main components on the switchboard are the water tank levels at the top here, also your battery condition, voltage, and how many amps you're using at any time. The next row is your circuit switches. On the left is the main switch. With that switched off, it cuts all power to the rest of the circuits. You have your fridge, lights, 12 volt plugs, and water pump switch here. The bottom row are push to reset circuit breakers. So if an individual system stops working, this is your first call to reset the breaker and restore that unit. Just beside the electrical panel are the switches to all your light circuits. Indoor and outdoor lights can be accessed here. Just inside the door on the opposite side from the switches is your RV view or the monitor panel for your BM Pro. This unit will tell you how much power is going in from the solar, from your Anderson plug connection, and basically tell you everything you need to know about what's going on with your power and your batteries. Underneath the seat, we have our mains power protection. This is your circuit breaker for the mains power into the caravan. If the mains power stops working, this is your first place to look to reset the breaker. Just beside, we have our main 12 volt breaker. This breaker is a resettable type and you can also use it to isolate the 12 volt system entirely from the batteries by pushing the red button. Once that's pushed, all 12 volt is now switched off from the batteries. Simply push the small lever back in and that will restore the power. On the other side of the van, opposite the kitchen, are our batteries, our two 100 amp hour AGM batteries. Any other charging units you use, make sure they are set to AGM. Also in here is a small resettable breaker, and that's for the Anderson plug connection, power coming from your motor vehicle. And just beside that, we have our mains power connection. So when you've got site power, this is where you need to connect it. That's the value of simplicity. So easy to set up and use both the electrical system and the kitchen in your X11. For more information, head across to our website and check out our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel.